Hello and welcome to the Kenneth Buchanan Law Office Legal Podcast. This edition, we're looking at probate cases and in particular an unreported case uh, called In the Matter of the Estate of Victor Wazowitz, W-A-S-O-W-I-C-Z. So here, uh, the trial had uh, rejected an oral agreement as a will. The, uh, there was an appeal um, by the person who submitted it, and uh, you know the the decedent had a relationship with the plaintiff's mother that ended in 1987. The plaintiff alleged that uh, um, the uh, the decedent told her he wanted uh, um, the mother to have everything in the exchange for the promise he would care for the mother and plant a tree in her memory. When the decedent died. Uh, the estate was divided between his uh, heirs because there was no will. Plaintiff filed suit uh, seeking to enforce her oral agreement with decedent from 35 years earlier. The trial court dismissed the complaint with prejudice for lack of standing because she was not biologically or legally related to the decedent. The trial court noted that even if plaintiff had standing, state law precluded recognition of an oral will. The plaintiff appealed the appellate court affirmed. The appellate court held the pl- um, um, even if there was, you know, an oral agreement, it ha- it was not in writing. State law requires a will to be in writing, signed by the testator, and be witnessed by at least two individuals. A will, in turn, includes, um, you know, testamentary acts manifested by the proper execution of a written instrument. There was no basis for plaintiff's contention that she had an oral agreement with decedent akin to a will, and therefore the appeal was rejected. And that's uh, in the matter of which Victor was, which docket A-3620-21. For more information on wills and probate, uh, visit website njlaws.com. And for representation in probate matters, contact Ken Burkhamman's office in Edison at 732-572-0500. Thank you.